Hello and welcome to this quick introduction about the latest version of the Node.js SDK, which is version 2.0. This SDK is the first step for Morales to integrate in any backend, and we will start with Node.js. The SDK is set up in a very modularized uh, way, and it's really easy to use and fully TypeScript supported. The current features that it supports is uh, connecting and requesting methods to the EVM API, the Solana API, and to handle Morales authentication via the API. Uh, I will start by showing you how to uh, set up your application to use it. It's very simple. The way you're used to is just by calling morales.start and you need to provide your API key. There are also a few other methods that you can provide. For example, the log level, which will show you more uh, or fewer outputs in the console log. Uh, for now, I've set it to error, but if you want to debug, you can set it to uh, verbose, for example. Um, also, we have two other options that's about formatting EVM addresses and formatting chain IDs, which I will come to you in a second. Um, then the first example I want to show you is the new way we are handling EVM chains. Instead of handling chains as a decimal or as a hex string, we handle them now as an, a separate class instance and we call them Morales data types. Uh, and to create one, you can create it via EVM chain uh, dot Ethereum to get the ETH address or the ETH chain. Or you can also create one via EVM chain dot create and you can provide uh, any chain ID that you want, or you can provide them as a decimal value. Uh, I will show you quickly in the terminal how this will look like. Because if we have the chain, you can read the decimal value from this instance. You can read the hex value from this. As you can see, the decimal is one. The hex is 0x1 as a string. The format function uh, will format it accordingly to what you have set in your configuration. This is important to know because this format function will also be called on any uh, EV, uh, EVM API endpoint. So if the EVM API returns uh, a chain in one of the data responses, it will be formatted according to the setting that you specified here because it will call the format function internally. And we also have some utility methods, for example, to get the name, uh, in this case, Ethereum mainnet, uh, data about the currency, and we have a few utility functions to uh, compare equality between chains, uh, especially if you handle like decimals and hex values uh, altogether. You can just call chain.equal and it accepts a decimal or a hex string or any other instance of an EVM chain. So these are all nice utility functions that we provide. And this is the same with a lot of other data types. Currently, I will only show you EVM chain and EVM address. But if we show the import here, we, you can see that we have a lot of other data types as well. Mostly are returned from the uh, EVM API, but uh, most of these uh, data types have at least the equality check and some way to return the value in a JSON format or to a string. And we will add more and more utilities to these data types as well. Next example I want to show you is how it works with an EVM address. In this case, we create an address with a lowercase string, but you can create it with a checksum string as well. Uh, and when it's created, you can read the lowercase, you can read the checksum string, or you can call the format function and it will take into account the, the formatting uh, type that you have specified in your configuration. And also you can check equality and it doesn't matter if it's like a lowercase address that you pass into it, uh, a checksum address that you pass into it or another instance of an EVM address. The uh, next example I will show you is how to use the EVM API. It's the same as in version one, it's morales.evmapi.account.endpoint. So account will be the domain. It can be uh, native as well. Then you have, uh, for example, the get block, get contract events, etc. Uh, the difference with version one is that we renamed EVM API and previously it was a Web3 API. 
but now you have EVM API and Sol API, so for EVM networks or Solana networks. Uh, in this example, we will query the, the token balances on Ethereum for this address. And an important distinction between, uh, between previous version is that we return the value in three different ways. We return it with a to JSON function. This will return the values uh, as primitive data types that you can use in your application directly. Uh, so any EVM address, for example, is formatted with the format function. You don't have to worry about parsing uh, any return data. We also provide the result, which does contain uh, all the internal data types. And if you use this internally, you can utilize all the utility functions that I mentioned above. And we also return raw, and this is the data as it comes directly from the API. Uh, we do format some of the parameters and some of the return types to make it more consistent. For example, some uh, data types in the, the API are returned as an, uh, a token address like this, so with an, uh, an underscore snake case, and we will transform it universally to uh, always use camel case. So there are a few differences between the, uh, the uh, results that you get in result or in raw. So if you want to use the previous, uh, previous data as it was in version one, you should use raw. And if you want to use any utilities, you can use result, and then you can have all the utilities as mentioned above. Or if you just want to parse it to a simple object called to JSON. And for example, uh, here we have like the token balances and we lock out the first one of them. And you can see the differences between these three methods. So the JSON returns uh, the value and the token and every data is uh, a string or a number or just a primitive JavaScript type. Uh, the raw will return it as the, it is directly from the API. So without any formatting, as you can see here with the underscore. And if we log out the result, you can see that we are utilizing uh, our internal data types and you can see that we have a big number, for example, here, or an ERC20 token value. Uh, and with this, you can format the big number to any way you want, or you can query any additional methods on the, the contract address or the chain, for example. Last quick example is the Morales auth. Uh, we will provide more demos on how to use authentication with this SDK, but uh, just to show you a quick example on how this module works, is it has two methods, the request message and the verify method, and you can pass in any, any internal data types as the EVM chain as you want, and the return value uh, will be a simple object. The out module only has two methods, request message and verify and if you want to implement your own authentication you should create an endpoint where you handle the request message and return the the message to the user and then you can call the verify with this message uh, to validate that the uh, authentication actually was successful uh, we have a few examples in the repository and we will provide more content on how to use authentication uh, later on that's it for this quick introduction. I hope you have fun.